Well, she lost a dream job over social media comments. And the man she blamed for fueling the flames says it's her own fault. Tonight, the story of Laura Krolchek, the fired Roswell Park executive who went from obscure suburban mom to an international news story in a matter of minutes. She sits down for an exclusive local interview with News 4 Investigates. Here's Luke Moretti. You feel like your life is over. You feel like you have no options. And that's where Laura Krolchek's head was at when she found herself front and center of a cyber tsunami. All of a sudden I was getting notifications of people telling me that they want to kill me or I should go kill myself from an account I didn't even know I had. It was about two years ago, March 2020. Krolchek, a senior executive at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center in Buffalo, was working from home during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. She had signed on to Facebook and saw articles about ventilators. I posted an article from The Hill um, about Donald Trump saying there was no need for ventilators in New York State. And, you know, for me, that was concerning because I have a child with a rare disease. Krolchik, who had previously worked for Senators Hillary Clinton and Kirsten Gillibrand, thought she was bantering privately with family and friends. But I, I posted the article immediately. There was commentary from friends and family that I thought was sort of tongue in cheek. Um, and I played into it. Um, I made some regrettable comments that I, I thought was part of a joke. One of her posts stated, Trump supporters need to pledge to give up their ventilators for someone else and not go to the hospital. A friend who worked at Helpman Woodward Medical Research Institute responded, I think they should be the only ones in packed churches on Sunday. Krolchek then added, they should barricade themselves in there and ride this out. Within minutes, I was a news story from those comments. Krolchek went outside to play with her children after posting the comments. When she came back in the house, her work and personal cell phone were on the floor from vibrating so much. Hundreds of emails, text messages, voicemails on both both phones, I look at my computer, emails are filled up. Here's a sample of some of the voicemails that she received. Because you're a stupid so I hope you kill yourself. It shows how much of a that you really are. A complete and a disgrace to the profession that you're in. You listen to the messages and immediately it's men telling me to kill myself. There are messages saying, we're going to rape you. Krolchek later learned that one of her friends shared the post, which got the attention of influential GOP strategist Michael Caputo, a former Trump administration appointee. I saw in somebody's post uh, a screenshot of this conversation going on on Facebook and it really incensed me. Caputo shared it with his thousands of followers on social media. He urged them to call Roswell and Hauptman Woodward with complaints, and they did. It ignited a firestorm of controversy that ensnared Krolchek's employer, Roswell Park. From my perspective, uh, I simply wanted a fair resolution of the situation. I, I didn't know what Roswell would do, uh, but I thought it would, it would it, you know, it was important for Roswell to do something. Caputo was messaging fast and furious. Here's just a few. Senior execs at Helpman Woodward and Roswell Park are advocating a strategy online to ensure Trump voters are infected with COVID. These medical facilities exist to fight disease. And this one, Roswell Park does not regret the words of its senior executive. They want us to shut up. I put it out there for people to review. 
because it's a comment from a public health official that required review, not just by the public, but by her employers. Roswell Park declined to comment for the story. You know, media started to pick it up, gave it traction. Krolchek issued an apology almost immediately, which she thought would calm the rough waters. I said I did not mean to imply anything in my private Facebook comments. I'm sorry if I offended anyone. Of course, the president needs all the support he can get right now as we deal with this pandemic. And that meant nothing. In fact, I, I then started to get ridiculed by other people for showing any sort of support for Donald Trump. So I'm, I'm getting it from, from both ends. I, she may have apologized, I didn't see it, but at the end of the day, she needs to take responsibility for what she did. Krolchek ended up paying a big price for those Facebook comments. The Roswell Park senior executive, who was making over $200,000 a year, was sacked, fired by her employer. This suburban wife and mom of three children, who for the most part flew below public radar, was suddenly thrust into a worldwide social media frenzy, and it left her shaken to the core, physically and mentally. You start to evaluate in your head how you're worth more to your family dead than alive. Michael Caputo makes no apologies for shining a bright light on the controversial posts. What happened to Laura Krolchik is Laura Krolchik's fault, not mine, not anybody else's. And in the end, it looks like Roswell Park agreed with that. I've never met Michael Caputo, but he's the most important man in my life. Why do you say that? Because everything that happened to me was because he demanded it. The idea that everything that happened to her is because I demanded it is a disordered response. Obviously, she can't take responsibility for her own actions. Whatever Roswell would do would be fine with me. I, I, I didn't know what they would do, um, but I didn't call for any particular action. He had an ax to grind against Hillary Clinton. I'd worked for her 20 years ago. I became a proxy for someone else, but this this is, you know, a casualty of the culture wars. Michael Caputo is no stranger to social media controversy. He's also been on the receiving end of death threats. But Caputo and Krolchik agree on certain things involving the state of social media and big tech. We'll explore that tonight at 11. Luke Moretti, News 4.